guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Nicole Smith and today I'm going to be filming a favourites video. This is all my favourite products of like this month really. Right, okay, so I have a lot of stuff. Let's start with the bath stuff first. So basically I've been um, trying to go a bit more like eco-friendly, more sustainable, you know, kind of some planet. I've decided to cut back on the plastic in like my bath routine and my shower routine and if you want that let me know down below youtubers like shell bizzle and um sustainably vegan and all of them good people <laughs> made me change my ways and i've watched a lot of documentaries after having an interest in that I'm sure most of you know what Lush is because every YouTuber talks about them. A lot of people don't know is that they're actually very eco-friendly and sustainable. Uh, it's like one of those things you don't notice it until you start start it, do you know what I mean? What I've got and like what my favourites are just so if you guys are on this journey too and you live in the UK and you're struggling to find things, um, I just want to let you guys know this is my favourite. These are my little containers, it's like a metal one. And this one is from Lush. My shampoo bar. It might be a bit gro- Oh my god, it's mega grotty. It's like got hairs in. I don't know if you can see. And the shampoo everywhere. Oh my god, it smells so good. That's the thing about Lush. Everything smells so good. And like, I think for me, I'm all about the smell. Like, if it smells nice, I'm gonna use it. Like this one is in Honey I Wash the Kids. Basically, you just take this out the thing, like instead of just pouring shampoo, like squeezing the bottle and doing that, you just like smack the bar at the tin. I'm not gonna do it now because it's gonna be slimy. And you literally just get a bit of water, rub it in between your hands, and it'll sud up loads. Like you'll have loads of suds. And then just wash your hair like normal. Just make one of the best shampoo bars I've tried. Five months I've had this shampoo bar for. Like, it's gonna last me probably till the end of the year, to be honest. Like, honestly, they last so much longer than, like, normal shampoo. But this is the most, like, normal shampoo. And honestly, never be going back. If you guys are into shampoo bars or want to try shampoo bars, I would highly recommend trying Lush ones. They have loads of scents. I'll let you guys know when this runs out. These ones were off Amazon. These were, like, plastic containers. These ones were from Lush. I think this was, like, a pound. But this one's, like, a metal tin. And then this one's like a plastic box thing. In here, this literally looks disgusting. Where is my conditioner? So basically, this is from Lush again. I'm not sponsored, I promise. I bloody wish I was. American cream. If you guys have ever smelled American cream in Lush, oh my god. You know what it smells like. It's literally like a strawberry milkshake. Like, I love the smell. I love the thing. I just wish, wish, my only critique is that like when you obviously rub it in your hands I wish like more conditioner came off that's my only issue with that one but yeah I still love it like it's in my favourites of course I love it holy shit this smells like incredible like lush so this was the other container that was with the other one it's just got like a little smiley face this is my body wash and it's a little soap and it's um, rhubarb and custard um, scented so this is how you'll get them in Lush, like this. They're like this big. Usually, before I put them in the shower, I like um, snap it in half or cut it in half. Or... Let me do that because I get bored of my scents. Like, I love the scents, don't get me wrong, but I just like, when I have like loads of soaps, I just want to like try them all. So what I do is like cut them in half. So then when I start to get bored of one, I have a new one to go back to and I don't have to like, you know, not like the soap and I... If I love it that much, I'll put it back in. But honestly, that rhubarb and custard flavour, if you like rhubarb and custards, beautiful. Is, again, another Lush tin, is um, my face wash. This isn't from Lush. I think it's from Eco Warrior or something. And it's like a chamomile and something face bar. It makes your skin like feel squeaky clean. This is like a face cleanser thing. So basically... This is like, I know there's like actual branded ones, I think this is like a dupe off like Amazon. It's called Fancy. Fancy with two eyes, I don't know if you can see. But um, basically I had it for Christmas off my mum and 
yeah, they're only on Amazon, like twenty pound, I think. Um, very reasonable. But it looks like this. It looks actually crazy. So this is the head I like to use because I got sensitive skin. But there's also like another head that is um more for people with like normal skin types. So Callum uses that one. And then there's like an exfoliating one for like your body and stuff. Okay, so you get two heads, and you can get like a pack of heads as well, like replaceable heads. So that is really good. And they just pop off like that. So you just pop them in. And what I usually do, which makes it easier with the bar of soap, is I like just rinse my brush into the water and then just turn it on to spin. Can you see that spinning? And then just rub it in soap and then just rub it on my face. Um, It's the Lush Scrubs and this is the Mamma Mia Scrub. I think this might have been special edition. I'm not too sure. Right, it says Mamma Mia. Anyway. Um, basically this one is a pink Himalayan salt scrub with rose clay and vanilla combined to cleanse and polish and perfume. It's got like, I've literally nearly used it all, it's about to go. Um, so basically it's literally bright pink. And yeah, it's just a scrub. But it smells really nice and the special thing about, um, like these packages in Lush. If you watch Shelby's video, you'll know. Um, basically, these little pots, you can return them and they grind them down and make them into new pots. So they're literally like, it's a full circle of like recycling and packaging. It's just amazing. So if you take five items of packaging back, you get a free face mask. So who doesn't want a free face mask? This is called Lime Bounty. And basically, oh, it's like a summer's dream right so imagine like lime with a bit of coconut in there oh god it's giving me life right now um yeah so this is what this is this is my shoulder right mine looks grotty right but basically um i'll try and put a photo up it was like green with like coconut sprinkles but they're not actual coconut it was like um shavings of white moisturizer but it looked like coconut on top it just looked beautiful this is a safety razor very sleek very stylish Blades for the bladey bit i don't know it's you buy the razor compartment which is like the thing you can see just swap the blade bit out rather than like chucking away like the whole razor it's here than your average razor and it's better for the environment which is just a tick and honestly, saving money, right? And to be honest, I'm not for some smell. But if you like honey, you're gonna like the smell. I don't like honey, I don't really like the smell. Clean an oil cleanser, just if you have a water based cleanser and an oil cleanser, it'll clean your makeup off better. So, like that face wash I showed earlier is like a water based, and then this is an oil based, it's better to get makeup off and stuff. So good, it literally takes your makeup off like that. And it's like a couple of pounds in Lidl. I can't remember how much it is, but it was not expensive. I think it must have been like a pound, two pound. I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise. The Mario Badescu skincare, um, the drying lotion. I know I'm late to the game, right? Okay. So honestly, this drying agent so good. Um, it's literally nearly empty now. Basically, I've been shaking it around, but it'll separate and there'll be like a pink lump at the bottom and then like a clear stuff at the top um you just take a cotton bud open it dip it into the bottom pull it out and it'll all be like um pink on the bottom and you just it's like a spot treatment you just put on um your spots that need to come out or you know when they're like gross and you just want it to like die down um yeah just pop that on there and honestly it's so good oh, and, and the two big ones are gone like this is how much me and Cam have loved this spray. Um, it's the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I'm not too fussed on the smell. It's nice now, but at first I didn't like it. It's nice now because I associate it with my skincare. Does that make sense? Like to me now, it smells relaxing because it's a smell I've associated with it. But basically, again, I tried this. I absolutely love it. It could just do nothing, but I feel like it does something, you know? My next thing, you guys are not ready for this. This powder 
oh my god looks like children's makeup i'm not gonna lie i heart revolution i love them and i know that's their branding is to be like all fun and quirky but like adults and and maybe like the more mature people would probably look at this and be like what the fuck is that shit do you know what i mean like it does look very kiddish and teenagery which isn't a bad thing so good this powder oh, i've literally gone my flatmate on to it i've gone my sister and my mum on to it honestly so good so there's like four shades which isn't a lot but um i think there is quite a wide variety because there's a, a stark white one that smells of coconuts there's this one that smells of peach and this one's the peach one um there's a banana one that's like a yellowy one for more deeper skin tones like more medium to deep and then there's a chocolate one for the dark one which can i just say that chocolate one sounds incredible it's just a loose powder smells like peaches and honestly i don't know what the other shades are like on like i've only used the peach one but i can say this is honestly so good it's like six pound again really cheap and honestly i've bought expensive powders and they're not a patch on this like this i miss like i'm like oh my god why haven't i got my powder it's literally so smooth so buttery like and you know like some powders like you leave them on too long and they go like funny do a couple of swipes and it's oh, honestly so good literally no flashback nothing it is slightly colored but you can barely tell it is really amazing and i did see someone else um share this on tiktok literally she said i found you the cheapest and best uh baking powder and i was like bitch i know what it is <laughs> like literally and then she showed that and i was like oh my god i knew it like i know it's so amazing so other people are like raving about it but i just think many people sleep on i Heart revolution or revolution anyway because they are like a lot of the um products do look quite like kiddish and that's not a bad thing they're just you know being funky and like obviously it's good you know mature and like adults really aren't like that are just the everyday woman i'm gonna go to super drug and think oh i see this i'm gonna wanna bake my face you know what i mean i think that's the only thing that lets down this powder people think oh what the fuck is that but honestly so fucking good so good if i could tell you to buy anything if you're into makeup in this haul honestly get this please this is a liquid um eyeshadow the i do love these kind of products just because i feel like they're so much easier than with like glitter or loose pigment you have to tap them in very thing and like glitter you have to press it on but with these because they're liquid they're just ready to go this is literally empty i'm not gonna lie it's pretty much dead i need to go get another one it must have been like four pounds they act they do have like quite a right um selection of shades but i love this one this one's called flirty booty they stunning like four pound that's literally nothing like for what you would spend on a palette i would say if you're going to, to get some cheap makeup get like a cheap nude eyeshadow palette and get this like for the working woman it's so perfect like for the average just everyday person like my mum loves this one of the best swaps i've made it has like i'll show you my ones now again these were from amazon it just has like i don't know if you can see but it just has like a little i don't know if you can really see but it has like a little design on it like um lines going up the side and it has like a little bouquet of flowers on there honestly so cute these handkerchiefs and they're massive like put it against my head like huge yeah honestly so good because obviously you don't need to keep buying tissues you just chuck them in the wash when you use them and i think my pack came with like nine it came with a couple um so basically what i do is i just i have quite a few so i just fold them up in my drawer like this and they just stay in my drawer stacked on top of each other and then when i need a tissue i just open my drawer grab a tissue and then chuck it in the wash bin it's as easy as that 
and yeah you know when i don't know if anyone else gets this but in the winter i really badly like get like cracked along my nose from where i blow my nose so much and in like um summery time like from the flowers and the pollen my nose gets really bad like i get really bad hay fever so like i'll get cuts on my nose from where like i've been blowing my nose and um not with these hankies baby <laughs> But yeah, honestly, I feel like an old woman sat you with my handkerchief. But honestly, if it's for your nose, who cares? Like, who actually cares? Because if my nose isn't cracked, I don't care. Like, so good. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Bye bye. It's a rechargeable lighter. Don't you hate it? When you're lighter, you get like a sick long lighter for your candles you get a big lighter or whatever big lighter you can get you understand what i mean like the big ones and it runs out of gas and you find out you can't bloody refill it so you've got to go buy another lighter and it's just this long circle of just shit when all you want to do is just light candles it's just such a hard life right okay so someone mentioned this a rechargeable lighter so basically it doesn't need any gas nothing you buy this and you've got it forever you don't need any lighters or anything else um it's got a little on and off switch and you just charge it it's got a bendy head um and yeah when you turn it on i don't know the battery charge honestly battery charge lasts ages like literally like i like my candles a lot like i do like a lot of candles and i like them like all the time like a couple of times through a day and mine lasts about a week two weeks it lasts ages like obviously if you're not like a candle freak like me lighting every candle in the flat then it'll probably last 10 times longer for you but yeah so basically you just turn it turn it on on the side just see the little blue thing go on then you press the button and there'll be a little it's not like a flame it's like a little teaser thing basically everyone who knows me personally knows i'm an actual candle freak like as you could see my rant about the lighter then i literally have like an obsession with candles like um basically last term when covid and all happened we still got our student loan in and because we was in uni accommodation we didn't have to pay our rent so we had like the whole of our student like loan for just a year just to basically i saw it a way to just spend on shit so that's what i did um i basically spent like a 200 pound thing on yankee candle and i know that is a bit extreme and i know that's ridiculous and i know it's feeding my addiction but i don't care and literally that candle haul like lasted me like a year and i know it would last a normal person probably like three years but it didn't last me a year but it's fine i do still have some candles and some tea lights and stuff from it but yeah obsessed i don't i love cheap candles i love expensive candles i love woodwick candles i love the normal candles i love tea lights i love scented tea lights i love wax melts i just oh, love it all okay i'm obsessed so reasonably priced candles i think if you guys are in the uk i don't know if they i think isn't as this version warm walmart i'm not too sure i'm i don't know but basically in the uk we have this shop called asda and it's like a supermarket and basically they sell obviously food and stuff but upstairs they have like a home bit or like in the corner they have a home bit and they'll do candles and like cushions and stuff like that um so basically in asda they have this brand called mainstays and basically well they have loads of brands of wax melts and they literally just have like a wall of wax melts um but i wanted to share this one with you guys because autumn's coming up we want to be all cozy and autumnal and what is more autumnal than like a cozy drink hot drink like cutched under a blanket watching a film um and this just smells like that to me this just smells of like autumn to me oh my god i'm so excited i need to calm down um basically it's called he's on the cream wax melts it's called in asda and i literally knew it and i was like Callum, we're getting this in the basket 
this was like a pound or two pound i think but i do find wax melts do last a while i think they are exclusive to ours i just saw on there so i'm sorry guys if you don't live in the uk exclusive to us there and i do apologize um basically you can get these little they've got like their own brand of candle in asda and they're really cheap there's like one for like you know they do different sizes but basically you can literally get a pack of these tea lights for a pound and i just want to share with you my favorite scent they've got like a um a watermelon crush one or melon crush one i don't like melon so that's why i'm got that one um they've got a peach twist one that one smells nice but i just didn't get it because i don't really be in like peachy smell so i just thought it'd be like a waste kind of thing um what else i i know there's the coconut crush that's the one i've got here the sugar plum that one is insane and then the blueberry blueberry blue oh, oh my god why do they make them like such tongue twisters a blueberry breeze one so good honestly i just you need to know about these okay but just don't take them all because i'll be very angry i've been obsessing over this plant this is queen pothos or pothos or however you want to say it and i have a big one up there you can't see it but it's like in a massive thing and basically i took cuttings from it because i wanted to put it in the top and make it more full so it would like when it goes down it'll be more full basically and these propagations were ready and i wanted to take some in back home while i was there like to take care of and so i just popped these all in a pot and just thought you know fuck it i'll just take them back look how bushy that is it's literally grown so much like um it's just i can't believe how much it's grown honestly this one could be ready to like propagate again it's like massive and i think i am gonna keep these in its own pot now i i'm attached to it in its own pot now i don't want to pop it in there but yeah this is like growing a new leaf as you can see it's like just so happy there and i'm just so happy that it's happy to sound like an actual basic bitch right okay but i have been loving fortnite lately i'm not gonna lie i love fortnite okay people who say fortnite is shit are just haters okay so if you want to see any of those videos um i'm over on his channel playing fortnite with him and cameron who is um tip top on youtube um yeah so that's what i usually do after i'm done filming for you guys or filming tiktoks or doing instagrams or just messing around with makeup um that's what i love to do in my spare time and i don't really show it to you guys but if you do want to see more of it go and watch callum's videos if you'd like to see me in some of them i mean some not a lot but let him know if you want me to be in them more tell him and tell cameron too <laughs> but yeah so i just love playing over there and my sister's in some of the things because she'll join but yeah been loving fortnite at the moment i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want any more videos from me let me know what kind of videos you want did you want like eco-friendly one um if you want more plant videos if you want me to talk about like propagations and stuff with my plants um more makeup videos um to be honest i've been filming a lot of tiktoks and posting a lot of instagrams lately i'm back on that train and i'm gonna continue and halloween's coming up soon and i've got some sick looks planned and i've got some already pre-done ready so when i'm in uni i'm not gonna have to stress but yeah let me know what kind of things you want and yeah go over and check out my tiktoks and my instagrams if you want a bit more content from me and yeah if you want even more go watch calm videos but yeah um let me know what you want to see down below and if you could like this video and subscribe that would mean the world to me i love you guys and yeah thank you for watching and i'm sorry this is probably like a 10 hour video i'm sorry i feel like too excited over products but that's me i get excited okay <laughs> but um yeah thank you for watching and i hope you have a nice day bye guys
I just thought, I right, basically, this is just babbled on into a fucking 10 million year story. Hang on a second. Ooh. Ah! Oh my god. Hi. Because <laughs> obviously, when you've got normal shampoo, it's like dilute. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dilute. Oh my god. Why can't I say that word? Diluted. There we are. Play. Can you see? Oh my god, I feel like a YouTuber. Oh my god, girl. I wish. Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. So, pot it. Pop it. Hey. Hi. Subscribe to Calvin HD.